Hi, Chirag here from Finding Country. We're really lucky to be here on a gorgeous day at the National Motorcycle Museum. We're here to see James Hewing, who's the museum director. We're gonna have a few minutes with him to have a bit of a chat about what's going on and what's actually inside. James, thank you uh, for having us over. It's, um, it's quite a privilege to be here. It's great to see you. And, um, you know, it's fantastic to be able to tell people about the museum because um, sometimes I think it's a little bit of a, a hidden gem. Tell us a little bit about the makeup of the halls and how they work and how it flows, really. Sure. I mean, in the background here, you'll see um, just one of the halls of the five huge halls um, that make us the largest British motorcycle collection in, in the world. And we've got around a thousand machines in the collection, but it's a very, very focused collection which celebrates the history of the British motorcycle and British motorcycle manufacturing locally. It perfectly illustrates in quite a simple way in, in some respects how motorcycles develop from what were really um, push bikes with engines through to the modern super bikes of today. So you can see how motorcycles developed and that's actually very interesting when you, when, when you look at it. The idea of the collection, the, the collections raison d'etre is to illustrate each bike as it would have come off the production line so that's a great uh, resource for restorers and enthusiasts so we have visitors from all over the world and these bikes have to be perfect because a lot of the time people use these machines um, as the reference point for their own restorations. You can see every bike has got a sense of pride in whoever's cleaned it, whoever's that's taken right, care yeah, of it yeah. and yeah. it's really good to see. We do a lot of the big events like the big um, motorcycle trade show over at the NEC, which of course is, is just over the road. And we also have one of our own really big events that's uh, become internationally known actually, and that's called Museum Live. And that's when we open up the museum for free, um, just for a weekend to visitors at the end of October. And we get, um, get visitors coming from all over the country because we have a lot of star names and, and people recognised from the world of motorcycling. So over the last sort of six or seven years, that's become a really big event. The business itself consists of, of the museum, um, the conference business uh, and two local hotels, uh, the Manor Hotel um, at Meriden and also the um, Windmill Village Hotel on the way out to Coventry. And so we are across the, the four businesses in effect actually um, a relatively large local, lo local employer. It is great for, for Solihull to have this world class, world renowned um, resource that is known globally uh, and you know respected globally and, and I don't think that can be a bad thing for the area. So you've been here nine years one of the things I'm dying to know if you can show us is your favorite piece here. Oh the favorite bike? Yes. Yeah well I'm really that's... excited to see that. This machine here now this is the, um, the 1992 senior TT winning bike um, the Norton rotary engine, so it's got an unusual engine, um, called the White Charger. And uh, a lot of people come from all over the world to see this machine. And we run it at places like Goodwood Festival of Speed. And um, this bike's been all over Europe to, to, to different shows. And it's probably one of the most popular exhibits in the museum. It's been such an enjoyable morning with you. So, so much fun. You're very welcome. I'm still welcome. in awe with everything I've seen, so thank <laughs> yeah. you so much. No, you're very welcome, very welcome. We've had an amazing morning here. It's been so much fun. The bikes are amazing. The staff are so polite and friendly. Really looking forward to coming back for Museum Live later on this year. So keep, uh, keep posted and follow us on and uh, see what's going on. Thanks.